What's up everyone? It's Christine and Vanessa here, hooking you up with what you need to know to... Level up! So for today's episode, here in December, we'd like to introduce you to, drum roll please, Miss Connie Jacobs. Hi. <laughs> so this is going to be a fun episode for you because Connie Jacob and I actually co-own with Oliver Reyes a company called Movement with a Message. Yeah. <laughs> So she'll talk more of what that looks like, but before we get started, we're going to ask you a few questions the HBL way. Ready? Go. Number one, what are your bookmarks? Well, my technical skill is a Bachelor of Religious Education. Ooh. Yes, which means practically nothing. <laughs> Come on. Cool. But I like to read, so I have other bookmarks now. She does. So that's a really good segue to our second question is what are your street smarts? Ooh, my street smarts. Well, you know, I've learned um, not to pick up strangers in my car. <laughs> I used to do that, but now I don't. And that's a great idea, everybody. Tip, don't do that. Tip number one. Yes. Don't pick up strangers in your car. Yes, yes. in your 20s. Or, exactly. Or ever. Like forever. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. And number three is, what does hustle mean to you? I I love to hustle for mm -hmm. things that are meaningful, mm -hmm. things that are worthwhile, things that you believe in. Never stop. Don't ever stop trying, risking, doing things that you love. Because if you love it, it's worth it. Awesome. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Connie here is just a really good influencer and social mover in our community. And the topic today is gonna to be on courage and compassion. So we'll start off those questions. Okay, so our first question here is, what is courage and how does it relate to community? So courage is stepping out, doing something that might scare you mm -hmm. a little bit. And a lot of people were told all the time, be courageous, do things that scare you. But what we don't realize is that if we don't have enough in our corner, mm -hmm. we're less likely to be courageous. But if you have people in your corner, you have people who cheer for you, whether they're present with you daily or you just know that they hold space for you, you're more likely to be courageous. And that's something we teach in Move With A Message, that the outside of the circle is more important than the middle of the circle. Because oh. in a circle, it's the outside that holds the space, it creates the hype and the vibe that makes that person in the middle feel like they could actually try and risk. Yeah, wow. I've never heard it explained that way before. That's cool. So you're saying that the outside circle is the community, yes. and that in order for that person in the middle to be courageous, you need that community. Mm -hmm. Great, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. So if you didn't know, Movement with a Message has been in existence for the last 11 years. Mm -hmm. And so that's tremendous, and I'm sure there's lots of stories and lots of change and shapes that happen within that time frame. So could you maybe tell us a story or give us an example of someone being courageous, stepping out of that comfort zone, and how that really impacted community? Hmm. So there was this one kid at one school, to do a lot of schoolwork, and his name was John, and this was about five years ago. And he came to school and said to me, please do not make me go into the middle of the circle. Because at this school, I am treated very poorly. He came from a very rough background. His parents were pretty much non-existent, had to get his own lunch and breakfast and dinner ready. They had to work very hard. And he was just constantly being bombarded with things that would push him down. And he just found that the circle, the cipher, going into the middle was very scary. Mm -hmm. So of course I said, no, you don't have to go in the middle. But that circle, they caught the idea that community creates courage. Mm -hmm. And he, it was so empowered that all of a sudden, John went into the middle. Mm -hmm. And everybody went nuts. Everybody just, and they were honestly really cheering him on. And he came out after and I said, John, what got you in the middle? I don't know. I just felt so free. 
And I thought that is a perfect example of what community can do. And over and over again, we see that with the artists we work with. We hold space for them, they become extremely courageous. Mm -hmm. That's such a nice story. All right, our third question is, what is your message about courage and community for our viewers? And how can they level up in their life in this area? So everyone wants to be courageous. I don't think one person wakes up in the morning not wanting to do things they love or step out and try new things. And oftentimes we just say to that person, just go, just do it. And I want to I want to take a step back and say, mm -hmm. get people on your team. Mm -hmm. Find people who believe in you. And for some, that's really disheartening to hear because some people don't have anyone. And that's where you need to find your tribe. You need to find people who are aligned with you. And so, show me your friends, I'll show you your future. You need to get yourself into good friendships. And if that means leaving toxic relationships, then that's what you need to do. Because you'll only be as courageous as the people who around you will let you. And sometimes people don't like it when you become that courageous person. But if you're around people who will love you no matter what you do, how far up you go, then that's the right tribe. And then your courage will last. You will actually see the things that you want to do happen. Because community creates courage. I really like what you said, show me your friends and I'll show you your future. Yeah. And that's such a great quote and that I really um, resonate with that because it's true. Like you are the average mm -hmm. of the five, five people, people, the 10 people that you surround yourself with. Mm -hmm. So maybe that's a good exercise for our viewers as, as part of maybe the New Year's resolution is really take some time to look at your network and look at the people you surround yourself mm -hmm. with, whether that's your friends or family, and really look at, are these the right people that I need in my life today? Mm -hmm. And like you said, if, if those if three of those people are the type who would hold you back, then you won't be able to step out of that zone to kind of like level up because they won't let you. That's right. And yeah. it's not wrong to, mm -hmm. to walk away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. cool. So Connie, can you tell us more, and this is going to be our last question, is what movement with the message, what do they do, and what is their purpose um, in our community? So Movement with a Message loves to prod underneath social <laughs> issues. Yeah. And uh, we like to dig underneath and we like to tell great stories that connect people with social causes such as mental health, such as um, we've done theater work on poverty and women's vulnerabilities and youth resilience. Uh, but we also do a lot of school work because we realize that it's one thing to work and talk to people in the homeless sector it's another thing to work in, preven in prevention. Mm -hmm. and so that's what we do with Moving with a Message in the Schools. We're, we're building community compassion and courage in young people to prevent them from ever becoming something that they never would want to be or in a place they never want to visit. Um, it just does that. And then and we have a conference coming up. Mm. We have a conference coming up called uh, Let's Talk Hope. We've, uh, we're working alongside Bell, Let's Talk. Awesome. Which we're, so it's Bell Let's Talk Day, January 30th, and we're calling all the people in Calgary who care about mental health. I'm so excited because um, mental health is one of those things that you go around in circles and you never see solutions. Mm -hmm. And yet we treat mental health like it's a terminal illness. Mm -hmm. It's not terminal, it's completely solvable. And so we want to get um, teachers, students, mental health professionals, uh, nonprofit sector leaders, even business people mm -hmm. who care about mental health, all in the same room talking. And our goal is to create this year um, actionable steps towards solutions that we will revisit every conference. Mm -hmm. How are we doing with that? And I think I learned that whole idea of measurement from my friend Vanessa. <laughs> That's the accounting <laughs> speaking Measure, to you. Everything, yeah. Accountability, audit trail, smart goals, all the cliches. <laughs> We're doing it for mental health now. Thanks to Vanessa. There you go. <laughs> so, are there any final words you'd like to share with our viewers um, on the topics of courage or compassion or mental health or any other initiatives? Sure. Uh, I would just say be courageous. Mm -hmm. 
find, find the right people to surround you. Write people on your list, a little small list of, of who's in your corner. And do those people have your back? And when everybody else and all the naysayers and the haters say stuff to you, go back to that list and say, these are the opinions that count. And you'll stay courageous if you do that. This is such a great conversation, Connie. Thank you so much for being here with us. Before we let you go, how can we reach you and how can our viewers get in touch with you? You can get in touch with us at movementwithamessage.com, movementwithamessage at gmail.com, and at movementwithamessage on all the social handles. So there you have it. We learned so much today and we hope you learned something too. Being courageous is not easy, but you need that community to get you from point A to point B. So with that, we, we out. out.